actually went surfing for the first time in 30 years. It was successful. I was able to get up three times. Um, I stopped as soon as my fatigue really started to wear into me, and I'm glad I did because I had uh, a remaining day ahead with my wife, and I wanted to uh, not be uh, debilitatingly tired, and I, it was good, so I was all right. But uh, surfing again like that was more anxiety. Is that the right word? It sounds too like too strong a word, but I think it is right. I was more anxious about that attempt at surfing uh, than really anything in a long time. Strange type of anxiety, not the necessity anxiety of work, but more like what I was afraid of. And I ex the way I explained it to you, Mika, was I was afraid that I was going to peel back the skin of myself and discover the old man near at hand, right there below the surface. That's what I was afraid of. I did something similar 30 years ago, the last time I surfed in Japan, when I joined a, a small surf expedition from Osaka over to the Sea of Japan, where we surfed on the uh, west side of the west coast of Japan, small waves. I th was still energetic and, uh, and confident from my surfing days in Humboldt, which is quite another thing altogether, being able to surf up there on the northern coast, very tippy, tippy top northern coast of California, where the ocean is scary. And I was able to do that successfully. And then when I came to Japan, facing small waves, safe ocean, relatively so, I was unable to do it. I was totally just beaten up disappointment. It was embarrassing. And that was after about th two years of not being surfing regularly. And I was only like 26 at the time. Even my uh, default resting, resting bodily state, I've always been blessed with relatively good health, was good then, but I was defeated utterly. How much more so I worried at this age. Not that I I wonder why I, was, why I felt that way. I almost said afraid. Uh, I know the old man is just there. I feel him right below my skin. I guess I didn't want to see him so close, so clearly. Maybe I was afraid of the danger. Hmm. There was a time when I was paddling yesterday that my heart was beating quick, and I thought, is this good? Could I have a heart attack? So there's that too. So I think that's it. I was, I was afraid to find something out about myself that I didn't necessarily like. Instead, what I found out about myself was, I'm doing really good. I mean, I was able to, to paddle strong. I was able to paddle all the way out, out to the outside. I um, was able to uh, catch uh, three waves and probably in about six, seven attempts. So I had a number of attempts where I just couldn't quite get on the wave. Had a couple of good wipeouts as well. Um, I did a lot better than I thought I would. If I kept that up, if I was surf, if I began to surf regularly, which I won't, but if I was to begin to surf regularly, I, I could, I could do it. I could get myself back in shape, and I'd be a good, good at it. I don't know. I wouldn't say I'd be a good surfer, but I'd be good at the effort, be able to paddle out to the lineup, be able to do the things. I would. The thing is, I won't. I have no interest in that. That's the other thing I discovered. A surfer, I am not. I have, not just no. A surfer, I don't want to be. I could be a surfer, but I don't want to be a surfer. That is a more interesting, still, discovery. There's something about going out there into the sea and paddling around and catching waves and being in the wet that, that is satisfying. It's like it's the same satisfaction that comes of sex. <laughs> it's a kind of a, mm, how do you describe it? Achieving something, being somewhere, doing something real and alive. That's what comes of surfing. And I imagine a lot of sports like that, playing volleyball in the sand, uh, skiing, driving a car real fast, maybe, whatever the case may be. I don't want any, I don't want that stuff. Maybe it's even better than that. Maybe I don't need it anymore. Hmm. I'll let it rest at that. 
anything more I could say we might self sound more self congratulatory or flattering than I wish to uh, say. But it does feel, I'll just leave it this, it does feel like I've, I've moved beyond a, uh, a level of distraction that a lot of life is. It's the same distraction that comes of filling an evening with television, I think. Or filling a conversation with gossip. Not quite. Flowers of a different sort. But still, in terms of pursuant to my life purpose, only peripheral. Sure, I could apply the, uh, the principle of fun to these activities, and that would work. But it wasn't very much fun. No. I get a lot more fun out of having lunch with my wife and taking a walk with my wife. I'm sitting here with my dog, reading a book, writing, writing uh, words. Uh, yeah, that's fun. Hmm. Dreaming. I like dreaming. So, there's that. I'll just let that all sit there. I learned a lot yesterday. <laughs>